Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a January update. My name is Morgan at The Life of Tillman's. If this is your first time, thanks for joining. If you frequent the channel, thank you. I greatly appreciate you guys being here. So starting off with January, y'all. January 1st hit, we were just hanging out. We were preparing to start back to school. Everything was in line. We started back on Wednesday, January 3rd. We did great. We had school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Everyone's feeling amazing. We had school on Monday. Tuesday, we also had school. And around 5 or 6 p.m. on Tuesday, as I was finishing my workout, I was like, I'm starting to feel very tired and just like a little out of it. But I knew that something was not right. <laughs> anyway, woke up Wednesday morning and I felt like someone had run me over with a school bus times two so sick y'all so so sick my girls tried to persevere they did some school work on wednesday i literally stayed in the bed the entire day while my family waited on me hand and foot all this time i'm praying that everybody stays well all the things well that was not god's plan that's okay i do understand by thursday around noon my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter were out and by thursday night my middle daughter was out and y'all, we stayed sick like for like two weeks. So from the 8th of January, and then we didn't start back to school until around the 23rd-ish, somewhere in there, 24th, whatever that Monday. And it was hard. It was really hard. Well, around that time, after the girls and I were, I say semi-well, then my husband got sick too. So... The flu took us out. <laughs> uh, we were definitely down and I felt like we were out. And it was the worst. This is the worst that we've ever been sick. And there was nothing happening in this house. No movement of any kind. But from the bathroom to the bed, to the couch, to the kitchen, for all the herbal, everything, back to bed, like it was just really hard. And typically when I get ill, I'm able to allow myself, you know, 24, 36 hours to just kind of relax. And then I start moving around, but I could not, I could not do anything for a solid three days. And that never happens for us. So it was a struggle. We had a rough start to January. I mean, we felt like we were doing so good. It kind of changed a lot of our plans. It made us have to adjust the semester. We were a good two weeks out of school. So we had to make some adjustments to this second semester and the schedule. And I'll talk about that uh, with you guys later. So on top of being sick, we did not get a field trip in for January, of course, because it was just crazy sick and then trying to get back in the swing of things from, you know, starting back to school. There was just a lot going on. So no field trip. So I owe us because I enjoy field trips as well. <laughs> I owe us an additional field trip. So I'm going to sneak in two in one of these months uh, coming up to make sure to make up for that because that was one of my goals for the second semester is to get a field trip in every single month. I know sometimes we set goals and things happen and that's exactly what this was. An unexpected sickness. There was nothing that I could do about it, but I still want to be able to have those field trips. And when we did start back to school, we went ahead and started everything. We did math, all the language arts components that we have going on, science and our history curriculum. As I shared in a video earlier, and I'll link it down below, just like the plans for this semester, we are not doing America Story 3. We went back to another history curriculum that we were using, uh, volume two. So we started that and we are loving it as we did volume one. So that's been going really good for our history. Uh, science has been going great as well. We did kind of skip a few days. Um, so we're trying to, you know, get back on track for that so we can actually stay on schedule and finish uh, the things that we started in a timely manner. Timely to me may not be timely to other people. Some people are like, it doesn't really matter. But when I set a schedule, you know, barring illness or major things like that, um, I would like for us to stick to that schedule so that we can complete the things that we want. And I also feel like if you draw something out for too long, you miss feeling and receiving all the meat of it because then it just becomes this kind of like haphazard thing that you do. So you don't necessarily value it quite as much. And I want us to value the things that we're learning 
everything from science to art to history you know ela math everything and the way to value that is making sure that we are consistent with completing those items for the time frame that we've set for our household so that's a big thing for me as i said before because we got sick we had to adjust our semester so our eighth week off of school would have been the week of valentine's but because we were out for two weeks at the beginning we had to push everything back so we will not be taking that complete week off there is one day that we will be off but the rest of the week we have to do work because we have to catch up so you know our sick days our snow days that was kind of that um, for us and so we've got to really hunker down is what I'm gonna say and push through and we will get our next eighth week off will be um, toward uh, I think it's April I believe is what it is it's around my daughter's birthday and so we're gonna push through and really work hard give it our absolute best all the way until April with a few days off here and there where we have scheduled travel um, on our calendar. That's going to be different for us because we're enjoying the eighth week off, you know, seven weeks on, eight weeks off. I'll link the video down below where I shared our schedule for the year, but I would like for us to get back onto that schedule, but also we have to make allowances and make adjustments based off of things that happen. And us being sick and down for two weeks, that's a major thing. And so we have to get back on track. That's my focus right now is making sure we get back on track. However, I don't want to lose the connection in the fun learning experiences and everything that we normally have going in our homeschool for me focusing on you know we gotta make up for that two weeks it's not that but also my girls are like mom I was supposed to finish my math on this day and now I have to push it back a couple of weeks and I'm like I understand we're just gonna take our time and work through it and we have to be intentional every single day with completing our assignments and not carrying things over and just you know picking up and saying eh today I don't want to do anything so let's not we can't have days like that we don't have any extra days like that um, and there may be other sick days prayerfully there won't be but that's a possibility as well so we're just kind of really trying to focus on our schedule and making sure that we are being intentional and consistent with the things that we are working on also my two oldest daughters have started their literature studies their second literature studies for the school year uh, my middle daughter is doing a poetry literature study by moving beyond the page and my oldest daughter is doing a literature study over operation sisterhood that i found on teachers pay teachers and they are enjoying them they are working through them so so very well i cannot wait to share with you guys what they liked and what they didn't like there are aspects of it that they're not a fan of but it's all super super useful so make sure you stick around subscribe to the channel there's going to be tons of things coming out that's just one of them um, but i want you guys to stick around and every time you like a video you share a video you subscribe to the channel that helps out our household and i greatly appreciate that all right so let's talk about february plans if you don't know the month of february is set aside for black history month and in our home we study black history along with our american history all year long but this is a really good starting point for those families that are not studying black history all year with your history curriculum and adding those things in and sometimes it's a little bit of a daunting task for people to kind of figure out how to add in additional history studies and so there are really some super simple ways and i actually did an article over at made to homeschool where i give all kinds of suggestions so if you are not a member of made to homeschool i'm going to link it down below we do exclusive content over on made to homeschool where you can go and check out and get articles and videos and there are live workshops i recently did a workshop on critical thinking and problem solving skills and our children there are all types of meetups i mean the online community for made to homeschool is jam packed and it is very enriching <laughs> and i'm using that word because i feel enriched when i get on there and everyone is posting they are sharing things that are working in their homeschool they're sharing curriculum ideas we have tons when i say tons you guys tons of printables that come out that are free with your membership as a part of made to homeschool these workshops come along with it for the premium memberships and at the end of this month we are going to be doing a hangout and guess what you can come and be a part of this hangout and you don't have to be a made to homeschool member you will get a chance to get on there and talk with all of the contributors, our founders, other Made to Homeschool members, all of your friends who may not be a part of Made to Homeschool. 
you would have an opportunity to just kind of see what we do and what the feel is like for this community. So down below, I'm also going to link that. Y'all just check the description because like everything is gonna be there, okay? So for the month of February, even though we study black history all year long, I'm gonna have my girls do research. They are going to research someone specific in a field that they are interested in. I'm pretty sure my oldest daughter is choosing writing and my middle daughter is going to choose something in the STEAM arena. And my youngest daughter, I will pick something for her. She may do gymnastics because she really loves that. She may do someone for basketball, not really sure. But I'm gonna ask her what she would like to do. And they're just gonna do some research. We're gonna find some documentaries that they can watch and some books that we can all read together so that we can learn about someone different. That is how we are kind of doing something out of our ordinary to study black history. And I really would like to keep that going and just have them study a new person like every single month. So all year long, they're studying a new person. Now, this does not take the place of our history curriculum that incorporates uh, people of color, mainly African Americans within our history curriculum. But it's just an additional piece on there to really learn about um, African American and black history. If you haven't gotten started, go ahead and do so. Just pick something easy and make it a part of what you're doing. So some other things that I'm doing in the month of February, which just might seem like super early for a lot of people, but I'm already curriculum planning, guys. I'm really trying to think about what it is that we need and being intentional with what we need. If you have not followed along, like monthly updates, I've talked about the struggles that I've had with my youngest daughter when it comes to just her plain desire for school, but specifically like in reading area. And I definitely feel like right now we are over that hump. This girl is grabbing books and she's upstairs and I hear her reading, her reading has progressed. And I'm gonna share with you guys in a video coming up, so make sure you subscribe, the steps that I took and how we got to this point, because it was definitely a struggle. But I'm working on curriculum. I'm sitting down and I'm assessing each one of my daughters and that's a big part of it. And it may seem like it's a little bit early, but I have three girls and I have to get on it now because sales are gonna pop up and people, you know, we sometimes change our minds about different things and I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure that I give myself the time that I need to assess currently what we're using, my daughter's needs, talk it over with them, get a list of possibilities, and then move forward with what we are wanting and do that in a time frame that's comfortable for me. As I told you guys before, my girls were set before we got ill to finish like math and their ELA components like mid to end of March. So now we're looking at like mid April, but that's coming around the corner really quickly. So I don't have a whole lot of time to just kind of sit back and, and do it at the last minute. And I don't like that, it stresses me out. And in the process of doing all that, I wanna know what you guys want to see here on the channel. This time of year, what are some things that are really popping out in your mind that you're like, I'm curious about this. I may not have the exact answer that you're looking for, but I want to be able to share those things. And so I need y'all's help. Put it down in the comments. You can also email me. You can reach out to me on Instagram, my social media, and say, hey, I wanna know about this, or this is something that I've been thinking about over the last couple of months. What do you think about it? And I can try to get that into a video for you guys. I may even just answer you in the message that you send um, if possible, but I wanna know what you are looking for here on this channel because I wanna be here to serve you guys as best I possibly can. Thanks for watching guys, bye.